Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Mop. Ben's son. Yay, Ben is here. Um, I don't know if you've seen the last video, I did it without Ben. And I talked about uh, the last 10 years uh, with Ben and with him using and how I recognized I can't change him and what I did to change me um, and setting my boundaries. And so uh, Ben just watched the video I did and we were discussing your thoughts and um, whether you recognized a change in me and yeah. how it affected you. So maybe you can give your side of the story. Um, um, well, I've noticed a difference throughout the years. Yeah. Mom's come more laid back and more easy to talk to. Because before, you know, when you're fresh to becoming an addict and shit, you're hiding it. And, you know, you're hiding it for a lot of the time, majority of the time. But, like, you're even more hiding it when you first are starting out. Because you're always paranoid and you don't want people to know. But I've noticed as years gone, my mom's been more understanding and, like, accepting. You know, obviously she's not going to be, she's not going to want me to be an addict. But she's mm -hmm. going to be understanding of it. So that, I've noticed, makes it a lot easier to open up and talk about what's happening. Because you don't want to feel like you have to hide it or you're ashamed of it. You want to you want to feel like you're able to open up and talk about your dailies. And, right. You know, so. And, and that's important because I learned, because, you know, there was a time when I was trying to fix you, Ben, and ask you questions and are you using? And um, I explained how when I realized I can't change you and I can't control you, that yeah. I started working on myself. Yeah. So one thing you like mentioned. putting more effort in my life than me. Yeah, I was putting more energy I'm into your her. life. Yeah, exactly. And it's true. She should put a lot of effort in and I'd be like, fuck, fuck. Yeah, and you wouldn't do anything because you knew I was going to try to take care of everything. Well, that's not why. That's not no. why. No, but also um, you, re you recognize my reactions different. Yeah, which made it a lot easier to talk to you because like you don't want... Like, if you're the loved one, you don't want them to feel like they have to hide from you. Like, you gotta, you gotta, like, you almost have to, like, almost accept it. Like, because you can't, you can't control it, but, like, you we're gonna use you either way. So you might as well just accept it and work with it instead of work That's against it. That's a good it. point, Ben. Because if you you're know, working against it, it's just gonna, and you're not gonna get anywhere. But, like, if you work together, then, like, you can communicate and devise a plan maybe or we've made many a plan so mm -hmm. well, I've gotten a lot better you know I'm a lot better now a hell of a lot better than I was five years ago or ten years ago and, and I just want to say something that you said that is really important that I need to accept where you're at yeah and you know and I do say that I accept that Ben is has a substance <laughs> use disorder he's an addict I've accepted it I don't, it doesn't mean that I like it. No, I don't have doesn't to like it. doesn't mean that I have to like it. Mm -hmm. And that's a really big thing, is yeah. accepting where you're at. Accepting that these are your choices. They're not mine. And and that is what made me more relaxed, because you said that you you noticed that I'm more relaxed. The cool parent, I quotated when we were making our notes. Yeah. You, you have to just be cool about it. Like, not cool, like, yeah, it's okay, but you got to be like, you got to be relaxed and you got to be easy with it, because if you're too hard about it, the person's going to avoid you and not even want to look at you, let alone talk to you about what the fuck's happening. You know what I mean? Like, and, and the thing is about that. You got to have to gain that trust. You have to gain that trust. You know, you describe me as the cool parent. That doesn't mean no. that she um, that I'm gonna enable no. him. She that I'm gonna enable me for use sure. or anything. She doesn't give me money or anything. You know, if I ask her for money, she'd be like, "No, Ben, you know you're not gonna get money from me." Yeah, I mean, the closest I'll get is maybe like when she's with me, she'll buy me a drink, and like, and that's like it. You know, yeah. like that's not enabling. That's just what I we're was making just, a video, and I don't like, do it all the time. No, not every time. You know, like once in a while is okay. You know, like. So I think the important takeaway here is that. I recognize as the loved one that I have zero control over what you I'm do. Not control, not zero. A, mm. I can't tell you what to do. I can't make you do things. I you can't force them to do anything. No, but you can encourage them. What has changed with Plant us the seeds. is that I'm working on myself, and I am learning what addiction is all about. I have set my boundaries. I don't enable, and there's all those things that go with it, and I take care of myself. Self-care, I talk about it all the time. Yeah, I know the boundaries. She's so, made them blatant, blatant and clear. And so, Ben, yeah, you know like the boundaries. She, like she said in the last video, I'll hang up before she hangs up. Because I'll know it's not going anywhere. I'll be like, fuck, sorry, I'm burnt. 
Yeah. I'll hang up on him and say bye sometimes. I'll be like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? And it's not nice. So it's not nice to say that. It is like, not nice. I, I always say sorry after, but it's just you get caught up in the moment. And, and addiction is like bipolar, you know, like. Yeah, it's. You're when, up and you're down. It's hard to control. So, like, you have no excuse. So, I always say sorry. I always say sorry. You, you know? do. And I don't take it personally. And that's another thing because it does get ugly. I just stop engaging because I'm protecting myself. I don't deserve abusive behavior. Yeah. I am worthy of being treated well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether it's you or anybody in my life. Yeah. So, uh, you know. Um, and I think that's really important that you recognize my boundaries. You might not freaking like it. No. In fact, there are many a times he may ask me for something and I will say no and you are not happy. No. 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 And so, you know, we're sitting here chatting with you and, and we're laughing and we're, and we're having a, like, we're having a good day. Yeah. So we're able to have these good conversations. It's because we've, we've worked our way up to this. We've, we've taken the steps. And the, the, the process is to get to where we are now. We were not like this well, years ago. We wouldn't even be no. we wouldn't even be sitting in the damn same car. Yeah. Or talking to each other. Like, we wouldn't even talk or look or we were like enemies at one point. Like not enemies, but, but you know what I mean like I like, also I and I can only talk about myself in that I've learned what addiction's all about. I've learned how not to get sucked into that vortex of uh, hatred and violence and addiction drama. and everything that comes with addiction because i listed all those things the chaoticness yeah, yeah. and it's it's awful it really is it sucks it totally sucks and so ben what have you learned with all this like is there something that you mm. might want to share that you've learned no i've learned to just that's a hard one because it's a, like to round it up fucking i've been trying to learn just to like Take it as it is, you know, just go with the flow, you know, try not to force things. You know, I still try to do force things. I don't know, I'm a hypocrite. I can't say I don't, but like, you know, I try, you got, I don't know, it's hard to say what I've learned because, like, I don't know, I've just been, I've just been evolving slowly. Okay. You know, I, I can't quite narrow it down right now. All right. Well, and you still have to come to the I realization still, yeah. to, to make that big change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, right? I don't know if I'm quite there yet. And and that's being truthful, like Ben's being real. He's still using, and yeah. that's no, the no, reality. No, no, near as much as I used to, or last week, or last month. I've been using way less this month. Mind you, it's only halfway through the month. But yeah. still, I've been using way okay. less this month. Like, so, only a handful of times to post, like, every day, you know, so. Okay. And you know what? I accept that that's where you're at. Like, that's, even when I, I haven't been trying to get it as much, even some days I don't even try to get it. Some days I'm just like, no, I don't feel like going through that effort to try to get some you know okay like. well ben i just hope for you and like i know i can't tell you what to do i just hope for you that you do your due diligence and do what you need to do daily yeah. in self in your self-care yeah. as in getting your methadone daily yeah you know because you have been slacking on that uh, for whatever <laughs> reason and that's okay yeah. um and and taking care of yourself physically eating and all that stuff yeah. so that's what I am hopeful for you, and yeah. and I really am taking care of myself, waiting for the day that you really want major change. But until then, I accept you, because I love you, and I know where you're at. Yeah. Um, and that's where we're at. So, any last words? Uh. We're good. I don't know. <laughs> Where's breath? There's hope. Amen. Remember, where there is breath, there's hope. Amen. Take care, everybody. Peace. Peace.